Better Cherry Blossoms, an app to fight food waste, and fishing for energy savings. Those stories and more in USDA Week in Review. The cherry trees around the Tidal Basin in Washington are a yearly spectacular, but their blossoms are with us for such a short period of time. Research geneticists with USDA's Agricultural Research Service are studying ways to give us more blossoms during the year. We're trying to extend the bloom time of flowering cherries, not necessarily in a single variety, but um, to get a number of varieties that will bloom from everything from the really early ones, such as First Lady that we've already released, but also trying to get some that will bloom later in the season. And that way you have a flowering cherry that will bloom pretty much any time during the spring. And Pooler says some varieties can be coaxed to bloom again in the fall. Too many cherry blossoms? No way. Pooler says people need more cherry blossoms in their lives. It kind of makes them stop and you know you have to look up from your handheld device and and just experience it. It's not really something that you can experience digitally. By the way, the cherry trees around the Tidal Basin were gifts from Japan in 1912. Each American wastes 36 pounds of food per month, according to USDA's Food Safety and Inspection Service. But a new app from USDA FSIS will let you look up how long you can keep food so you don't throw away what's still okay to eat. Many products might have a sell-by date of, say, April 1st, um, but they could be good in your pantry for another 12 or 18 months. And by throwing those out, what you're doing is you're contributing to food waste in the United States. And the app will remind you to eat food before you have to throw it away. Say you buy a box of fresh pasta, which is good for a limited amount of time, you can have your calendar tell you a couple of days before that fresh pasta is going to go bad that you should think about eating it. The new app also has cooking tips and information to prevent foodborne illness. It can be found at the Google Play Store and the iTunes Store. Sims Fishing Products in Bozeman, Montana is a fly fishing friendly place to work. We have many employees that, that fish, some even fish at lunch. They go right to the Gallatin River, which is about a half mile from here, test out our products. But Sims was hoping to reel in some energy savings when designing their new headquarters. So they looked to USDA's Rural Development Agency for help. With some of the funding they helped provide, we were able to do solar panels to generate electricity. We have a solar hot water system. We redid all the lighting in the building to do energy efficient lighting. And frankly, on some of these items, we wouldn't have done them without the USDA. Reducing energy costs definitely helps our bottom line, but we're really focused on helping the environment and you know fishing you need to be in a great outdoor spot and if we can help the environment and reduce our carbon footprint we're very interested in that. USDA Rural Development offers loans, grants and other programs to help grow jobs and opportunities in America's smaller communities. And in this week's Photo of the Week, USDA Rural Development Cooperative Program's rural sociologist, Dr. Thomas W. Gray, makes a purchase and listens to GLUT collective member Chantrice Martin talk about the dynamics of this worker-owner store serving the Mount Rainier, Maryland community. Its motto is still cheap, still funky. GLUT is a collective managed and operated by its workers. It supports local and or organic enterprises whenever possible. For more photos, go to the USDA Flickr site. That's all for USDA Week in Review. Follow, tweet, and stay informed at USDA.gov.